I had such a great moment. Apparently, there is a switch in the kitchen that if you, it's like over by the microwave. If you turn it off, it turns off all the machinima sh machines on the other side of that wall. Like the entire red versus blue machinima environment turns no. it off. Why is there, why is that a switch? <laughs> and why know. is that connected to the machinima machines? Know. It's because they moved it up against that wall at some point. I don't know when. They used to not be against that wall. Well, now they're surely they wall. have UPSs and stuff. You would think that would be the case. not. <laughs> but here's how I knew about it. There's some dude looking up, I can't remember who it was, was looking up at the lights like this, like because some lights were off, and fucking Josh Oni Halif came around the corner and he's like, Did somebody hit the switch? Did somebody did somebody hit that switch? And the guy who did was like, I'm trying to see if these lights came off. He goes, You just shut down all of the cinema. You shut down our whole fucking environment. That they, is a No, 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 let me tell you something. <laughs> they know the switch is there. They haven't removed it. I know. Why don't they I or said, put a piece of tape oh, yeah, over it? That's the hell exactly out of it. what I said, Barbara. Tape it up. Yeah, and put a sign do not touch. Or tell or some shit. We have a facilities person, or tell him. Hey, can you have someone remove that switch and just put a wall plate right there? <laughs> Gus, let's go back to like 2006, okay? We're in season three of RVB. If Look, that it's switch like your panel. existed and one of you motherfuckers hit it once, what would I have done to that switch? Smashed you would have ripped it. it out of the fucking wall. Like <laughs> you would have done you would have you would have just reached in and gra like you would have been yeah. like fucking Indiana Jones Temple of Doom style. You would have pulled it out and been pulsing <laughs> with favorite, blue electricity. <laughs> shoved the bag of sand. My favorite part of this whole part right now is that you're like torching. Yeah. Oh, your mouth there would be is, like, two torching. holes. There'd be one in your desk and one in the wall. Yeah, absolutely. I would have been so furious. I would have fucking put a sledgehammer through that wall to get to that switch. Like I would I would have entered the room and like always kept as much distance between me and the switch as possible. <laughs> it's like if the switch was by the door, I'd enter it like sideways, like creeping around. Why do they have, it's like the equivalent of having a, a bucket of water on a piece of string, like it's hovering like, above all the computer. Oh, hey, don't hit that button. Otherwise it blows up the gas main under the building. <laughs> just, <laughs> just don't hit the button, everything's fine. Yeah. Did hey they, guys, I'm just sending out to everyone. Here's the command to delete the local like shared storage network. <laughs> just don't use it, but here it is, just in case you know we need it. And I've linked it here, just in case. Just in case you don't have to type it in. You can, just, you can just click it if you want. So did they lose a lot of work? Yeah, Sometimes. they lost a lot of faff, probably. Yeah, they lost a lot of busy work time, like prep time. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna jump in there with them, and I'll help set up a couple characters, and that'll help them like get back on their feet. And then I walked like two steps in that direction. I went. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. that's you were going to be nice for a second and then you changed your mind. That's how they build experience is through that solidarity that comes with adversity. <laughs> <laughs>